Welcome to Editing Monday. My name is Svetlana Vronska and I would like to share with you how I edit a family photo from start to finish. This is the photo shot in studio next to the gray background. First, I would crop it or you can use it, you can do it at the end. I like to do it right away to know what area I should look at. Okay, and let's fill this background. This is a paper, it was not enough. I'm using my patch tool and I'm just selecting and dragging the same area for matching background. I do it a few times freely, like wherever, not specific, like you don't have to do this, okay? And of course, if that's a family photo you think pe uh, people are gonna print, not print, just any family photo that when we edit, we zoom into 100% and just going from square to square to see imperfections that we have to remove. Also, you can use any of my presets. Peeling skin works great. Also for this, you can use a white brush to remove the dust and, you know, wherever uh, left, wherever ha we had on the floor. Okay, next let's flatten the image. I am using um, shortcuts, but you can go to layer and flatten the image. You can, for example, if you like the stage and happy with this, I, I I do the snapshots so I can always come back in case I, I want to come back on to something. Okay. And I'm clicking over here in case I, I will need a history brush to remove or come back to some details. Okay. From what I see, this is a little bit too yellowish tone. So I'm going to go to my camera raw filter temperature and I'm gonna lower temperature about this is too mm, I like a little bit yellowish but I think 87 works the best I do see this overexposed details in their foreheads and nose we can try to do the highlights you see even we go all the way it's still visible on the forehead so we just just a little bit we'll, we're gonna do it partially next first I was using camera roll just for retouching the temperature for the overall temperature okay next we start with mama we zoom in and a perfect mama oh my gosh she's so beautiful just a little imperfection that we see neck that's uh, too visible again you can live at it as it is if you do an artistic or extensive uh, editing this is what we do kind of going a little more than needed okay first we use a patch tool or a band-aid Okay, looks good. Now I'm gonna use my peel and skin preset. And to create this made look, especially when we overuse the lighting in this case, you see how much we kind of too much on uh, his and her forehead and face so first we we did few shots and then we correct the lighting but in the when we as after we correct the lighting the babies were escaping from the parents hands so this actually was uh, the first photo we did and uh, was actually the one worked and then i was thinking okay that's fine with correct lighting in Photoshop, but again, it's better to do this 
in camera before on the session on the spot okay we're gonna double the layer i'm clicking option key and painting with the brush and opacity 30 on his nose eyes brows and then again taste testing over the brush and again for mama we keep testing my, my hand my pinky is always an option key just to keep clicking on this option key for to sample the color okay light felt good on the baby okay we can check before and after before and after before and after i'm gonna lower the opacity a little bit because i actually like this highlighted area but not as much maybe a little more okay click okay i'm gonna flatten the image and do the snapshot snapshot okay now i'm gonna use my smooth skin then we're gonna smooth their skin their skin is amazing already smooth but i always use it on my families i start with 100 percent opacity big brush don't forget hands feet legs face it as faces this preset that actions you can you can use for a lot of things even to make a uh, wrinkled I use it for wrinkled skirts not it's gonna unwrinkle it it just helps a little bit just you know smooth it out for example yeah like like we just did on his pants look see just a little bit smooth it out and her face okay then i'm using presets only actions only but since i'm i don't have to go to my action button i have all my actions on my keyboard so for example i'm using f1 for eyes and teeth just to make eyes and teeth brighter if for example light didn't fall Or my overall editing okay flatten the image and I also use another shortcut for my brightening the brow uh, brightening eyes it works great on uh, daddy okay I'm gonna remove a little bit of this white and that we widen his eyes a little bit because become a little bit bluish it's easier to, uh, it's easy to correct didn't do much we're gonna use another alternative for this but I'm gonna use my history brush and just remove access of my whiteness that we overused over there okay look looks great so far I'm gonna see before start second part mm. okay okay I'm going back to my uh, family now I'm gonna use dodge and burning I also have them on my presets and uh, you can use it by using dodge and burn tool we have this as a presets already so I'm using my mid-tones you know parts that we want to dodge and pop part that we want to burn okay and before and after and I also use since we have this beautiful leg okay and now we're gonna use the burn tool 
and burn goes on sides again this is too much but and we're gonna lower the opacity and see maybe a little bit on her Not visible too much, but okay, we're gonna use on her foot, on her leg. Mm -hmm. I notice something over here, and I just cleared. Okay, and this red knee, I'm gonna remove redness from the knee. And again, I'm gonna use my action for dust oops when people wear in black uh, outfits it's uh, you know dust that you have in the place usually from cushions fabric pillows getting on their clothes it's nice to have it's nice to have a uh, linen, linen roller I believe but when you don't have this on hand so you can just use this preset okay again I'm gonna do the snapshot now uh, I would like to work a little bit with her hair just to fill up uh, this gap and we're gonna use a little bit for fuzziness over there okay I'm gonna use my clone tool with the floor around 20 and use under his eyes not too much don't overuse it let's see I'm gonna come back and use it again I am using my option key just to taste it, just sample the skin and move it with when you want to the place where most most fit. Okay. Also I would like to brighten their brown eyes a little more, so I'm gonna use white brush make a clean layer especially for little boys and just with opacity 100 we are going to create the sketch light it doesn't look good so far but we are going to overlay it and let's see how it looks before and after it's gonna bright up like you know there is white paper or something underneath usually helps to bright bright people's eyes awesome and for mama I also gonna use my tool just a little bit just my history brush okay looks cool let's before and after okay now i'm gonna use my selection tool and actually without doing this we are going to go to our select i always forget we have this and select subject <laughs> think photoshop they always improving but when sometimes you're used to one things it's so oh, you're so used to this so you forget about nice features that they created for us for easier use okay i'm gonna do select a mess for her hair 
lower the brush size. Click OK. And we are going to invert our inverse the selection. We can start with the brush, big brush, sample, color it, sample, coloring, sample, coloring. Let's start with opacity 20, 30 and work it this way just to make this paper, especially those folds underneath. Okay, there's lighter part over here, so lighter to the subject and darker on the sides. Again, lighter to the subject. Oops, let's go a little bit too dark. I love the opacity. We're gonna bite a little bit. Okay. I I keep looking at this navigator icon because uh, for my see it's very uh, gradient gradient right here, but when I see it's a little bit harsh, so I'm gonna make it a little bit wider, bigger, just a tiny bit bigger. Yes, and now it's much more smoother on this side, so insane over here. The only thing, I see a little bit too much lighting on this on this side, not this bright, where the light comes from. Also, don't forget about underneath, going down. It's nice to have texture, but since we already make it, it beautifully and perfect, oops. We are not forget. We are not going to forget about the underneath. Okay, looks good. Come deselect. Let's compare from five snapshot to six, before and after. Much more smoother, right? Okay. Let. Oops. Let's, uh, what I like to add, it's optional. I do have some um, texture that I like to use. You can keep it as dark or zoom out, for example, just to have without this vignette looking. We're gonna check on both. And we can multiply, works the best, or overlay. Just to create this studio look, okay. You can lower opacity all the time to your liking. Mask, black brush, 100% opacity, clear their faces before and after. A plain, a little texture always works the best. And now you can make opacity a little more visible so you can see to what liking you you prefer i still don't like all the way to 100 and now we're going to use my smooth soft blur and use my black brush to bring my family back here you go you can check if you use the Masking. Okay, flatten the image. I'm gonna use my patch tool just to make those big folds. Okay, also, we can, I love this gray, but also we can change the color of the gray to a little bit darker. To, just to keep this, uh, just few and see. I like blue goes with purple, but eh, I'm decisive. I like both, but maybe blue better. Okay, don't forget to about curves before and after, before and after, and don't forget about sharpening. I just sharpened more. See. I click also my keyboard, keyboard. 
you can go to filter sharpen and I use sharpen more okay cool looks great to me I still gonna I still want to smooth out a little bit of the floor I don't know we added this texture and now keep <laughs> keep removing it okay this is how I would edit a family from start to finish before delivering every photo we deliver not every photo the photo we think we're gonna work in black and white we also do the black and white and I think in this case it's gonna work the best with extra contrast here we go save and let's see we're gonna see all snapshots we did start to finish dramatic right actually we went we corrected we corrected to bluish okay but we corrected the face but i do like kind of now i see that i do like okay we are going back before black and white and we are going to remove only this bluish background yes i think i'm gonna remove it yes ah oh. yes i'm gonna keep it this way so i'm gonna use another one another snapshot from seven yes now we can check first one we can zoom even on faces and see before ah hard to to see before and after before and after this is how i would edit a family photo from start to finish thank you for watching that was Svetlana Vronska bye bye